What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the Empire's SMP and we usually do these every two weeks. This time we are doing it just one week later because so much has happened on this server since we uploaded. The day we uploaded multiple people finished their mega bases and we really have a lot to cover since the fall of Zornoth now. Of course, if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. First up today, we are checking out Flip. Flip has made some major progress on his mountains, and by major progress, I mean he has basically finished them. I think there's a couple spots that he wants to work on, uh, just some dark areas, things like that, but they are pretty much done for the most part, which is amazing to see. And of course, with Peace now on the server after the fall of Zornoth, Flip has decided to start a new game, and this game is where people will become emperors and can create rules on the server. Unfortunately, that also means that the peace is not going to last long on the server. So far we are on the second emperor and I'm really excited to see where this story arc goes. I have a feeling that things are going to go south pretty quickly. But Flip introduced the game to the rest of the empires and they all seem to like it, but then they also immediately battle to the death in order to be the new Emperor. After a massive battle at the banquet, Solidarity Gaming won the crown and is now the Emperor of the server, or at least was for about a week before he lost the crown. But since he was now able to make a rule, he decided to make everybody build a COD sanctuary in their empires. Of course, Fuip wasn't too keen on this and put a sponge in the middle of that sanctuary. But overall, the Grimlands are looking absolutely amazing. They have the beautiful mountains and also this absolutely huge base over here. Of course, it is still a work in progress, but I think we're going to see some major terraforming very soon. Right next to the Grimlands, Gemini Tay has been working hard as well. The first project she actually worked on was with Catherine, Shovel, and Scott, and they decided to actually make this area where that banquet was held. It looks amazing, but unfortunately got tore down pretty quickly. Back in her actual base though, or rather her empire, she decided to start working on a mega project. So far, it is just the outlines of it done, but I'm really excited to see where this build goes. It's looking pretty interesting so far, so definitely should be a great build when it's finished. Overall though, her empire is looking amazing. Of course, the giant wizard tower with the dragons and all these smaller buildings throughout this land right here. I'm really loving the way her empire is coming together so far. It's great seeing this wizard hard at work. Next up, Joey is mourning the loss of his sweet boyfriend Zornoth. It's sad to see him go, but I don't think we'll be seeing him anytime soon. So he started working on a new project in his empire. And this was an area to actually hold his raptors, which I believe are still in Gemini Tay's possession. Next up, Catherine decided to do a ton of interior decorating on her base that she just built recently. Uh, this is the castle on the floating islands, and she decided to add a bunch of signs of what she wants to go places, and then start working on it all. She built a dining hall, a very grand staircase, and so much more in this castle. Definitely made the interior of this place look amazing. Definitely go check out her channel if you want to see everything she put inside of here. But so far she's got a massive chandelier, a beautiful grand staircase, a few rooms with some flowers, some bees and a tree, and some tulips, a brand new bedroom, and so much more. She definitely spent a lot of time working on everything for this interior. I'm really liking this new addition to her empire. Next up, Mythical Sausage has been doing some work as well. This actually was a group project that they worked on, but Mythical Sausage did do a lot of work on this, and this is the Halloween town that they built. So of course it is now pretty far into November, but just a week ago we did have Halloween and they wanted to be a little festive with. So they decided to make this super creepy town to really celebrate the holiday, and I think they did a great job of making this place very spooky. Mythical Sausage also will not be trying to go for the crown and become the Emperor. He said he is trying to avoid that power now, especially after what happened with Zornoth. So it's good to see him trying to take a step back a little, but we'll see how this story arc plays out. 
Pixel Rifts has been doing a ton of work on streams, but he did just release a video where he did a massive, massive update to this anthill project. This thing is coming along very nicely. I'm loving the gradient of these blocks. It looks super good. This whole section right here is built with stripped logs and it really must have taken a lot of time to collect all these logs. I really want to know the exact dimensions of this thing, uh, just the general idea of how big it is because you can tell just from that little bit of village underneath it, this thing is absolutely massive. And I'm super interested to see exactly what he does with the inside of it once it's all finished. He also, like most others, has been working on his statue embassy over in Solidarity's Empire as well, making the Copper King statue holding a trident. This actually turned into a really great statue. I love the look of this thing, and I'm really liking all the statues that have gone into this area so far. You can see Scott's right next door, and we'll look at some of the others later on in this episode. And speaking of Smajor, he of course helped build this area for the banquet to be built, but then right after it was done, since it was actually in his empire, he went ahead and took the whole thing down so there was nothing left of the epic battle that took place here. Aside from that, he also met up with Solidarity Gaming just a little while after he became empire and went ahead and took the crown from him by force. And he of course read the rule book very carefully and figured out that he doesn't have to make a rule until he actually puts it on, so he delayed it a little bit until he decided what to make his rule. He did announce though that his rule would be to make it so that nobody can fly with an elytra on the server except for those that have a pass from him. So it should be very interesting to see how people take to that new rule. Next up, Smallish Beans has made a lot of progress in this world, not only on his base but also over here in Solidarity's Empire. He decided to take this statue to a whole nother level and build an absolutely massive statue of himself. Of course, he's holding a dead salmon to honor the Cod Empire, and this is definitely a great addition to the statues over there. He's also done a lot of work on the Mazalian Kingdom, building up the roof of his base finally. This is definitely overall one of the coolest builds in Minecraft I have ever seen. He decided to switch it up a bit on this top piece and actually make it striped so he has the green stripes and also the magenta stripes. I think it was a great addition for the largest piece of this roof and I'm really excited to see this project now done. I really can't wait to see what he does on the inside of this place. This thing is absolutely massive so he definitely has a ton of room to work with and do whatever he wants on the inside. Next up, Shovel took a look over her empire and this place is really looking very beautiful. It's a very natural place, a lot of leaves, custom trees all over the place, and of course mushrooms. Mushrooms are the biggest part of this empire and I really love the look of all of them. She's done a great job of really combining this one for her uh, mega base and I really love the look of this empire. It's a super natural look. Uh, of course you see this a lot in different aspects of Minecraft, but I think she's done a great job of really pulling it together and making this her entire kingdom. Next up we are taking a look at the late Emperor Solidarity. Right here is Catherine Elizabeth's statue over here in his empire. This is exactly what he said he wanted and she definitely did a great job of building herself in Minecraft. This thing looks amazing. But then of course being the Emperor he decided to build himself a throne room. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he got to use this place for very long as he lost the crown pretty quickly. On the other hand though, he definitely is becoming a much better builder. He's definitely learned some tricks this season and he's done a great job of building his empire as a whole. And next up, before I could even finish the episode, Fwip did another huge progress update on his base where he added in all this terraforming of the dripstone. This thing is really looking amazing. I'm really excited to see the final product of this base. I'm loving the terraforming that he's done so far. Definitely looks amazing. That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. That's all that we have for now, and I'll see you next time.